You're not getting naked in the hot tub. Fucking hell. Whether you like it or not. So, what's today's plans? We're heading up to Inverness. Go to Inverness. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. We're thinking maybe cinema, maybe bowling alley. Quad biking, archery, epic too. Something. Kayaking. We're, we're going to go and see what we can find. Uh, you want to swing by water park on the way, don't you? Look at that old bastard. Come on, you. Oh, it's Max. We'll get more fanny and old folks on because they'll like come to dementia and they won't remember. <laughs> You find, that? Finding out about your dating tactics. I used to work in a nursing home. We're keeping that for the video. <laughs> <laughs>
This can hear is okay. I don't know what the audio is like, but it should be okay before I start the engine. Um, so today, it's uh, Monday today, and uh, me and Ross, we've been up for a gallivant just to kill time really. You saw, we've had a little shot, Ross had a shot driving the van, which was a novelty. So yeah, Marina, you know how you're normally worried about Ross's driving? We thought we'd give him an experience that he'd remember, so. Very good. Um, do you like that? Uh, Magnus <laughs> hasn't been feeling very well. He's been kind of under the weather. He's he's been in his bed since well. What half six last night? Yeah, yeah. Got up literally for like five minutes. Yeah. And then went back to bed. Didn't have any dinner last night. And uh, had any breakfast either. No. Um, so when we left, we did we did ask if he was going to come with us, but he wasn't feeling up to it. He was. Saying he still had a really sore gut, so we're going to pop back to the chalet now because we've just had a lovely lunch at the Rallya Cafe. Mm. Um, uh, we're going to pop back and check on him, see how he's doing, and get your charged batteries and things for your yeah. camera and then we're gonna go and take some pictures somewhere go for a wee gallivant and see what we can find see what newton more is on offer yeah <laughs> conservation laboratory yeah. Ooh. so ross and i are exploring where, where are we today we are the highland folk museum Folk. 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 <laughs> so apparently there's people in there that are actually doing lessons, as in the 1930s. Yeah. So, that might be so that's in the Knockbean School, but we're going to come back to that because I think we're going to go to the township first. To the township. And and poor, poor Magnus, well I'll say poor Magnus, poor Lee Magnus is missing out today because he's still in his bed. We did check on him. Steam engine for sure. Yeah, because it's not a roller, is it? That's a steam engine where they would have used the, the belts over the big wheel oh. to power things. With a huge funnel. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we could fit in there. With the right motivation. County of so we're up for a gallivant. We're intrepid explorers. Tourists. That too. This is something that I really love that we're definitely not used to up north. Is the trees. trees. Yeah. Must be a map so we can tell. Cute. 
He's so happy. I can, I've got my digger license now. I can do the uh, ditches in Gerlach. <laughs> Clockmaker's display. Ross is dragging me back to school. Oh, that's the metal rings they used to play with. Used to play in? Used to play with. You'd seen them running, look, they'd hold the handle and they had to make the wheels run along the ground. Did you have a school bag like that? No. Didn't you? No. Sure, I did it once, dude. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. I'll have to. I'm trying to get all the small details to show my mother because cover up to about there thing. Okay? Okay. Then you should be good to write. You just have to touch the page and keep it in a nice shallow angle. You should be up. Yeah, so you sit at the front of the class, Rob. <laughs> Touch the lines. Upward stroke should be light, downward stroke should be heavy. Yeah. Some useful information on that. And if you get it wrong, you get the belt. <laughs> you didn't put your name, you didn't put the date. Yeah. It's not bad actually for first. Is it not bad? <laughs> <laughs> Of course, and the teachers had the red ink. Mm -hmm. See me after class. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, thanks a lot for that. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Where are we? We're in the dark. Trying to keep rabbits out the summer house garden. Ooh, it's pretty. Oh, well, definitely. <laughs> so, exciting plans today. Turn that just to make sure you can see all of us. Oh. And look who's here! Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, today uh, we're going to go to Tavi Moor. Um, as you can see, the dead have risen. Yeah, we're going down to Aviemore 
we're going to go swimming, shopping. Probably not much shopping, we're guys, we're not very good at shopping. Um, but we're going to have a, a look at the shops. We're going to go swimming because apparently I've got slides and flumes and stuff. And then, what time is it? Fa five? Yeah, five and then half eight. Five o'clock, hopefully, we're going to make the viewing of the Avengers movie to the cinema. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to hump him at beer pong. I'm going to try. Willie, this is for your benefit. I've got to knock him off his pedestal because you didn't show up, you fucker. Frightened, that's what it was. <laughs> 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 You heard it here. See, Willie, you're always looking for a fight. There's fighting talk here. I love you really, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he loves the Willie. So we've just come out of the pool in the Aviemore Activity Centre. And uh, we're heading back to the van. Now, Magnus came with us. But he decided at the last minute he wasn't quite fit for swimming. So, we are guessing that he's going to come up with some sort of story, as he normally does, about what happened to him on the way back to the van. Because we gave him the key so that if he was tired he could have a nap. As he's not feeling too well. So, my guess is... It's got to be sensitive with women. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing he has had some sort of affair with twins. Swedish mm. twins. Blonde Swedish twin twins. Maybe triplets. Yeah. Barmaid? Maybe. And then he's been run out of town. Oh, let's to go back. He's hiding in the van. Hiding because of the husband. For, for, the, for fear for his own safety. Yeah. So we're going to record it when we get back to the van and see what he says. How are you feeling? Chilling out. Just chilling out. How are you enjoying the Turkish here and now? It's actually quite comfy. I told you, <laughs> I told you it was. So what, did you just come back and nap, yeah? So, are you wanting to come wander in the shops or you just want to stay here? Uh, I'll stay here for a bit. Yeah? Well, I come to the cinema, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll come back and check on you before then. Uh, but you're just going to stay here just now? Uh, okay. No, shut it properly, Ross. That's not even close to properly. Yeah. You can get it out for that side, can't Yeah, yeah, you can get it from the inside. <laughs> right, uh, so Mags is still having a nap in the van. There. So instead, we're going to go and have a nosy in the McDonald Aviemore Resort and uh, probably get some like. Something to eat. Something to eat and uh, like souvenir y things for the kids and, and, the, and the ladies. Why? Fiance. I was going to say, fiance. You keep calling her a girlfriend, you get slapped. And my darling wife. Oh. Yeah, the, the stairs go up as well. So, this is us back to the Spey Valley Cinema and Auditorium. Look, granddad's awake. And we're off to go and watch uh, Avengers Infinity War. We've just come out of the cinema after watching Avengers Infinity War. What do you think? It was pretty good actually. Quite enjoyed it. it was right. I thought it was epic. Classy lads playing a classy game, classy drinks. Okay, so 
in case you hadn't guessed. We're now back at the chalet, and uh, Magnus has gone to bed because he's not feeling great yet. It's just to get out of it. Beer pong, that's what it's called. Spirit pong. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not so much beer pong. We still had giant Daniels and Coke and stuff, so it's more... Um, Russian roulette, really. <laughs> yeah, pong. It is a bit. What was right, right, you tell us, what, what have we got? Jack Daniels and Coke. Okay. Beer. And vodka and Red Bull. I was going to do your heart while it was good. <laughs> There are only little bits. You see, this, Tracy, this is him laughing at the prospect of my heart giving up. Well, I can drive him to the hospital, you know, it's no... Well, actually, I probably won't <laughs> if I'm in drinking. Finally got one in. Oh. Wait, that's a bit too strong. Fucking Red Bull. I think that was old vodka, that. <laughs> oh! This one's beer. Yeah. Yeah, he's still ahead of the game just now. But we'll see. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Remember, you poured that, not me. Oh, yeah. So, what, what was that, Ross? Sorry, you don't seem to have any more cups. No. So, what's that you're enjoying now? Defeat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first come, Red Bull. <laughs> God, that was hard getting that one there. I told you. <coughs> Which fucking vodka are you put in? Two out of three. Coke and... Jack Daniels, I think. <laughs> Enjoy! That was hard in the line, man. Do you pour your own drink? <laughs> that was yours. Hey! That's your drink. Yeah, I poured my own ones, you poured your own ones. I'd want it re recorded. I won round one, this is round two. Yeah. So, round two, and what happened? You fucking won. <laughs> Drink your misery, you prick. <laughs> After three years and two rounds, <laughs> he's lost. <laughs> I applaud you. <laughs> well done. That's only because of fact you didn't want a third fucking round. <laughs> That's us all done and dusted. So, Mags has already left. Because he's not feeling great. So now, we're going to go and do some errands. Right, so, that's us just leaving the chalet. Um, so we're heading to Aviemore. Yes. For you to look at that wood. Yep. Uh, then we're going to Inverness, uh, one or two shops to visit there, and then we're heading up to Gearlock, because Ross has a couple of jobs to do up there, and then home. After being away for like a week of running about in different places, I'm actually looking forward to getting home. 